Hey guys, who's ready to Rix, Flix, and relax? Me! Well, that's one and that's all I need. <laughs> as far as the rest of you are concerned, we're at Disney Springs today, a place we come to quite often. I just don't vlog it, but we're vlogging it today and we're starting right now. So here's the plan for today. The main reason why we're here to come to our favorite theater to see the Avengers Infinity War movie. How exciting. Then after that, we're going to show you some of our favorite things here at Disney Springs. Okay, I'll do it two ways. I'll do it this way and then I'll flip it. And right off the bat, Nikki's helping with photos. She's always a big help with photos. So one of our favorite things about Disney Springs is this AMC theater. Now there's two parts of this that we really like. We really like the dine-in side, the fork and screen. Okay guys, we are inside the fork and screen area for AMC Theater. I talked to one of the ticket agents. They allowed me to go in and get a couple shots for you guys. So let me tell you about this theater. So as we come into the fork and screen side, there is a MacGuffins. Now they do have this on the other side as well. Okay, inside the theaters we have reserved seating of four and each little area has a tabletop right. for when you order your food. And the food here is pretty good. So the main entrees that you're going to get here are going to run between $12 to about $17 on the high side. Now your snacks are going to run from a low of about 8 bucks to so like for pretzel bites up to a high of like $11 for the ultimate nachos. Then of course you can get your usual, order your usual candies. And popcorn and... Yeah. So you can get your usual movie stuff as well. I mean I always get the burger. What do you always get Nikki? Um, I get the flatbread pizza. So, and this side has what, like six or seven theaters, Nikki? Yes. Whereas the Dolby Cinema is only the one. The chairs are really comfy. They recline back a little bit. That You can't put your feet up reclining like the ones we're going to go to. Right. Um, and there's a call button for, you know, the waiter and waitress to bring you exactly. your food. And if you want refills to refill. And yeah. and things like that. So, it's really, you know, convenient and um, nice. Okay, with that being said, let's head over to our theater. Sounds good. Today, we're going to go see the movie in the Dolby Cinema, which is our favorite place to see a movie here in Orlando, without a doubt. Absolutely. Let's do it. Okay guys, we just got out of the movie. We won't do any spoilers here, but oh my god, mind blown, right? Yeah, I'm an emotional wreck. It was a roller coaster. Holy think, moly. Now were there like grown men crying at the end of this movie? Yes, dude. There was everybody was crying. <laughs> it's crazy. It was intense. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Oh, I wish I could tell you guys. Ending. Yeah, I wish I could tell you guys about it. But keep this spoiler free. Just go check it out. Especially if you can check it out in this Dolby Theater. Oh my goodness, right, Nikki? Yes. Holy moly, it was intense. It was like we were in it. It was like we were in the movie. It's crazy. It was First so all, good. Yeah, the theater is awesome with the sound of Dolby, so of course it's going to be awesome. <laughs> but I mean, the theater actually shakes. That, yeah. Oh my it does. goodness. Especially got, like on the third row or the, the third tier up yeah. where we were. Holy moly, it was like the crazy. It was, just, it was so, bouncing. Yeah, so if you're staying in the area, want to see a movie, you got to catch it in the Dolby Cinema. Now, they don't do like there's not a lot of them. There's one theater there. So, I mean, it's just like the bigger releases. Right. So your, your options are going to be limited. But with the recline seating, the Dolby sound, <laughs> the picture, the way they project on uh, the screen there, the digital is so clear. Yeah, it makes the movie that much more intense. Woo! So intense. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm exhausted now. <laughs> I mean, no kidding. It's crazy. But, hey, I'm disoriented. I, <laughs> walking out of the theater. But anyway, like. I recommend the movie and the theater. Yes. We have to go show you guys around Disney Springs now. I don't know how we're going to do it. I don't know either. I'm a little distressed. <laughs> Me too. But let's go ahead and show you some of our favorite things here at Disney Springs. Okay, Nikki, the first thing we need to do is show them the candy cauldron. Yes! That's one of our favorite things here. Often before we go to the movies, the girls will go get like a, a candy apple and they'll have it pre-sliced. So when they get in the movies, that's the snack they enjoy. So let's go check it out. So this one's Nikki's favorite and for about 11 bucks and they will pre-slice it for you. Yes, that's the best part. 
And in addition to the fancy candy apples that they have here, you can get your Rice Krispie marshmallow treats for like five bucks. And they have a wall of popcorn. And each of these little bags are about seven bucks for the popcorn. And then you can mix and match your candy too. And your oh, yeah. candy sizes off the, the walls. Yep, so that's right. That's a nice one to bring into the theater too. But we always just get, mainly get the, uh, the fancy candy apple sliced for the movie theater. Totally, yep. On our way to show you our favorite stuff at Disney Springs, there's one thing we have to mention, totally not our favorite, and that's the Edison. So we went to the Edison one night for dinner, and I really don't think it's set up for dinner. I think it's more of an after hours, you know, late night drinking bar spot because the menu was limited for food and it was very, very expensive. And it wasn't good. Yeah, and it didn't even it taste was, good. Yeah. It was not good food. Yeah, I mean, I have a very strong opinion on it. I did not like it at all. Totally disappointed and spent between the three adults, what? A hundred bucks. Over a hundred dollars. Yeah, and, and that's no without, alcohol. Yeah, just like regular drinks. Yeah, and Soda, water. Soda, water. Yeah, it was um, awful, and no appetizer. It, I highly do not recommend it. No, unless you're going there for like drinks at night. I think maybe it's more of like a bar for that type of experience. Yeah. But for dinner, do not go to the Edison. I mean, it is crazy cool in there, like the decoration, the decor. It looks really awesome, but food, uh-uh, don't do it. The waitress is the dress cute. Yeah, it's real cute, kind it of steampunk. Like, yeah, the whole theming is kind really of nice. Okay, we're gonna show you our favorite place to eat here right now. Homecoming. Now that's our favorite place to eat here. It's good old southern comfort food. Now it's kind of heavy. No, so I mainly have it for dinner. I don't think we have lunch here, have we? Oh no, I have lunch here all the time. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> it's good. The hush puppies are awesome, and the chicken sandwich is awesome. And the chicken and, and donuts for dinner. The chicken and, and yeah, chicken and donuts. Yeah. Uh, what else? I love everything. And I need to make note that the chef who opened Homecoming, Art Smith, he's like a celebrity chef, and he was the one-time chef to Oprah Winfrey. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. So we came down here and created a Southern Comfort Food restaurant. Very cool. Thanks, Art. All right, Nikki. Our next favorite thing, we want to talk about dessert or do we want to talk about shopping? Desserts. Okay, let's go show you our favorite place for dessert. Yes. When I said we were going to head for desserts, I had something in mind, but then I walked by Sprinkles. Were you referring to Sprinkles here or were you referring to the other place? What's the other place? Amore? Yeah, no. Amorettes. Amorettes. That's yes. what it is. So which one was it? Sprinkles is a cupcake and ice cream bar, Nikki? Yes. So I guess it depends on your mood. If you want cupcakes or ice cream, or if you want those fancy little desserts over at Amaretz. That's right. Okay, so I'm just a young Florida boy. How do you pronounce this? Let me know in the comments below. Is it Amaretz with a T or is the T silent? Please let me know. What kind of stuff have we got here, Nikki? Um, a Dancing with Pavlova. And that's your favorite. You really like that, right? Yeah, it was a raspberry one. It was really delicious with the um, raspberry meringue. And then we also got that um, lemon tea cake too, which was delicious. $16, $16 for the cake. Yes. And the Dancing with Pavlova is about $8. Okay, the world of Disney is open, but they've changed it up a little bit. The jewelry, the bags, and accessories are now going to be located at Ever After. Right. And then the plush toys and stuff is going to be at the Disney Corner. Yes. But the, but the store is open. The world of Disney is open. It's just switched up a little bit in how they got things arranged and what they're offering. Exactly. They're kind of split up and organized a little differently than how it used to be, which I kind of like, though. Okay, guys. So the world of Disney is a good place to get a lot of great Disney stuff. But it is not our favorite place to shop here at Disney Springs. Let's go see our favorite right now. The Marketplace Co-op. This is our favorite place to shop at Disney Springs. So I think what we like about the co-op is that it's not in your face Disney stuff. It's kind of subtle, right? Yeah, it, it's almost, I mean, it's not a little strange, but a little bit more mature in yeah. a way. Um, you know, with like their kitchenware and stuff like that. It's, I don't know. Yeah, I really I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Well, let's go show them some of the stuff. Okay. So 28th and Main is where I like to get most of my Disney shirts from. Let's check it out. Okay. So here we have a kind of a old school Mickey Mouse baseball tee, right? Yep. And it's for $35. This is very much your style, Nikki. Yeah. Even though I know this is like a guy's shirt. I would still wear it. Looks like you. <laughs> and I like this like traditional old school Mouseketeer type t-shirt for like 25 bucks. This is pretty cool. I used to love the Mouseketeers. Me too. The Mickey Mouse Club show. Yeah. 
Here's a couple cool park t-shirts like this one, Busy Getting Dizzy for the teacups, $35. That's pretty awesome. And then down below it we have Fantasyland is My Home, again for $35. So I just really like the style of the t-shirts they have here. Okay, Nikki, I like this t-shirt. You know I like green, even though I wear yellow for all the vlogs. Mm -hmm. I'm so fly. Finish that sentence for me. I'm so fly. I never land. I never land. Good girl. Oh, I like this one too. What is it? It's the a tie. tie. The ties run $40. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. I love this one. Well, you actually wore ties. Well, I don't wear ties, but if you had an orange bird dress, I'd wear the tie. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna head over to the Disney centerpiece to find some of our housewares. Now this is the area we shop in quite a bit because we have these little subtle knickknacks in the house in the kitchen for Disney World. Yes. For example, this is a plate we would totally have. Try the great stuff, it's delicious. How much? $14.99? $15. Now we don't have this yet, but maybe when we buy the new house, Nikki, we can get this dinner setting. Place setting. Place setting. Yes. Oh, there you go, you're a fancy girl. <laughs> $10 for the bowls. The little plates are about 10. About 10. And what about the big plates? 13 bucks for the big plates. The stemware. What about the stemware, Nikki? 15. 15 bucks for the stemware. I totally knew it was called stemware. So here's a section, Nikki, that's kind of for the 4th of July. Yeah. It's all the red, white, and blue Mickey stuff. Memorial Day. Yeah. Labor Day. Anything like that. Yeah. And my favorite theming aspect of the co op is this section over here with the airplane phone cases, neck rest. A neck pillow. It's like you're flying to Orlando on vacation. So we're going to head into where all the dresses are. What's this place called, Nikki? Um, the dress shop on Cherry Tree Lane. What does that have to do with Walt Mary Disney? Poppins? Mary Poppins, that's, that's right. right. <laughs> Is that where she lived? That's where the, the family lived. The family lived, Cherry Tree Lane. Yes. Okay. See, Nikki, if you got the orange bird dress, I'd get the tie to go with it. <gasps> oh my God, there's the bag. Okay, yeah. This is the bag you want? Yes. Oh How goodness. much is it? Dooney and Burke, orange bird bag for? 228. 220. She forgot all about the dress when she saw this bag. Yep. Oh my goodness. I love it. Oh. Well, how much is the smaller bag? Well, that's a wallet, honey. The wallet. How much is the wallet? I think. Or a wristlet. My bad. You might be right. It's 158 for the wristlet. And the big Dooney and Burke orange bird bag is? 268? 268? Yeah. yeah, 268. Yeah, the dress is $128. Plus the bag, plus my tie. What event would we wear this to, Nikki? Flower garden. I want it. And speaking of the orange bird, we have an orange bird rock to hide. After we leave the store, okay, that's right. yeah, that, after we leave the store, let's hide that rock, Nikki. Okay, sounds good. So that was the co op. We like it for the t shirts, the houseware, and Nikki likes it to go put Dooney and Burke bags on her wish list. <laughs> okay, so here's the orange bird Nikki painted. She painted this a while ago, she's just been holding on to it. She liked it so much. But now it's time to go find it a new home. Now, when hiding the Disney rocks, we use the Facebook group Disney Rocks. Makes sense, right? So Nikki's going to leave a clue on that Facebook page and hide the rock right now. And our second favorite place to eat here, mainly because it's tradition with the girls, is the Rainforest Cafe. Been taking the girls here since they were little kids. Yep, they love those mud cups. <laughs> yeah, that's the main reason why we come, for the mud cups. <laughs> okay, making our way over to our last stop for today, Splitsville, we came across these little ducklings. How cute! They're so adorable. Oh my goodness, how cute is that? <laughs> okay, so this is the, the last stop for today, Splitsville. Now, we only come here about once a year, right, Nick? Yep. And that's mainly because, if I recall the pricing, I think it's $22 per person per hour, which I think is a little pricey for bowling, so, and plus we're not great bowlers, we just like once a year maybe. <laughs> but when we do bowl, it's right here at Splitsville at Disney Springs. Okay guys, it's getting hot. I think that's going to do it today. Thanks for watching. Don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. And now it's time to relax.